Okay, so what I'm going to do, I don't know, what I just thought about practicing today. I don't know. Let me see what I'm going to do here. I got these emojis right here. And uh, I don't know, something, something I kind of discovered that was pretty cool. So we just go through here and you can see like a couple of them. We got like a guy doing different things. And one thing I like about these, these are like the... These are the um, the staples of drawing expression for a face. So you got this the circle. Let me show you how you can form a face. So let's say we took this face right here. So it's easy to draw. So first thing that I, I want to do, I want to figure out where I want my eyes to go. And then I'm going to use a triangle to kind of represent where I want my nose. Okay. Once I have that, okay. I'm going to take the eyebrow shape. I can put it wherever I want. And if I want to turn it up, exaggerate it a little bit. As long as I get the idea in there. My eyes will be somewhere around here. So let's say these are his X marks the spots. Okay. Then down here, outside of the circle, depending on what you've decided, how long the person's face is or whatever, uh, you, you can you draw your shape out here. So let's do this shape here. Okay. So I did that shape. Now, what am I doing here is I'm taking the shape here, okay, and then I'm kind of connecting it with that shape so I can draw my, okay, put my ears on there, right, and I can do a little neck shape, right, and then you can just or we can do some hair or whatever. Okay. You can see we got a pretty easy cartoon. And then you can take it and you can do all kinds of... That's just one way of doing it. So if you do this, maybe you want your nose to be smaller and more in this area. Okay. So that's our nose right here. Let's say my eyes are right here. I can draw my eyes close to this circle or close to it, right? I can put my eyebrows right here. I'm just changing the relationships of the features. And then I can do a, my other mouth. I could do the mouth right here. Okay, whatever. So once I do that, and how? And if, if you have a problem placing your mouth, just draw like a little teardrop shape off of this right here. And then you can see where your mouth goes to. And then from there, what are you doing? You just come in there. And you connect it based off of, like, basically how much dead space they have in the face. You see, my head is going around that circle. See how I'm using that circle to do different things, right? See, so yeah, look at that character. So... This is all caricature is. It's essentially you taking universal expressions or ideas and then changing relationships like I did here using the same shapes, just different relationships to make a different picture. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of practice this a little bit more. Maybe we have somebody here that's I don't know. It looks like they're, looks like they're kind of crying down here, right? Because we didn't draw their face, right? So here we go again. We got that shape there. Okay. Let's say we want to put our eyes up here, and for this picture right here, let's say I got a, a person with a long, slender nose like that. Okay. So here goes my brow shapes again. Here goes my brow shape again, right? Here goes my eye shape. Here goes my eye shape, right? And then he's crying. And his mouth shape is let's draw a little let's let's draw a little uh, teardrop shape. Is here. Let's say this is a teardrop. So we'll go inside of that teardrop shape, and we'll kind of put the same shape in there, right? And from here, we can add our chin shape, 
right? Whatever you decide that might be. This is our profile line, okay? Over here, right? Might be my the back of my headline. Maybe he has very small ears, right? And you can see the top of his head is very foreshortened, right? Because of the way we did it. And we want to keep it like that for this particular character. Yes. All right, hold on. And then we just do like this here. And we got a guy. Hello there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, you did? Well then, you see that subscribe button below? Push it. And after, push the bell icon next to it and select the all, all, all option. Then you will get notifications of all new uploaded videos and when I go live. Oh yeah. So thanks for watching and subscribing and check out these other videos for more cool stuff. Have a great day and happy penciling.